Hello everybody, how are you? How is everything in your world? Guys, this video is going to be another video for newer Uber and Lyft drivers, just trying to give you a few tips that might help you. And this one is simple, it's take a ride on Uber or Lyft as a passenger, as a PAX, as a rider. And the reason that that's valuable is that, for example, I just drove somebody from Ontario Airport yesterday, and we drove on a very long trip, maybe two or three days. We ended up, I think, in Oklahoma, and they got started to get out of the car at the end of the ride, and she said, what do I do now? And she had the phone, and she said, what do I do now? And in my mind, I'm thinking, what do you mean, what do you do now? <laughs> I haven't heard that in a while. But it turned out to be their very first rideshare ride, okay? And so I told them exactly what to expect on the app and that they should tip me two to $3,000. And it helped her to know what to do when she got out of the car to, finish, to close the ride out. So that's just an example of somebody that took a very long ride and then didn't know what to do. So when you take a ride as a rideshare driver, it gives you a better idea of what the app looks like from the passenger standpoint. For example, often I have somebody say, hey man, I need to make a stop. Is it okay if I make a stop? Now, if it's a short stop, I don't mind, but I say you have to add the stop in the app. And a lot of times they're going, I don't know how to do that. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to do that, man. I, I, when they gave me the app, they didn't teach me how to do it. I got to stop at, me, at the mall because I have two shirts on layaway. I didn't know which one I wanted. I, I wanted the blue or the red, so I just put them both on layaway. I got to stop at the mall and pick one up. It's the last day, or they said they're going to put them back on the shelves for sale and i'll say look this is how you do it now i personally don't touch their phone i don't want them to say i added something that they didn't want but i will walk them through it and by being familiar with the app uh it'll, their app their you know then it'll help you communicate with them something like that so that's one of the benefits. The other benefits, the other benefits, <laughs> I guess you, the other benefit is that you may have questions as a newer driver that you cannot find answered on YouTube or in the forums or online, on blogs. And despite all of that information that's available, which you should read and view to familiar, familiarize yourself with some of the basics You'll find questions that you don't know the answer to, and you can't find it. So by taking a ride, uh, then you can ask the driver. So let's say that you're going to um, to pay your taxes in person. And maybe as a personal protest, all right, you are going to pay your taxes in pennies. And so you have a big suitcase full of pennies, and you're going to take an Uber or Lyft to the local government tax office, put a funnel that you got at the auto parts store into that slot that goes where the coins go underneath the plexiglass, and then you're going to dump the suitcase into the funnel and shake the funnel uh, all the whole time him, uh, singing the battle hymn of the Republic. We're singing God Bless America. Maybe that's what you're going to do. I don't know. But I'm just saying, if that's on your to-do list for the day, instead of just driving there, jump in an Uber or Lyft, it gives you an opportunity to talk to the driver. And again, this is where you got to be a little low-key. I mean, a lot of these drivers, they've been at it, they've heard everything. And if you come at them like they're in some kind of inquisition, if they feel like they're on the stand in a court case... And you come at them like, what about this? What about that? What? They're going to feel like you're saying, uh, no, are you telling me 
Are you telling me that you were not at the scene of the crime on the date in question, and yet you don't have an alibi? Is that what you're telling this court? See, that's what they're going to feel if you pepper them with questions. If you're lobbing questions at them like you're throwing basketballs into the basketball machine at Dave and Buster's trying to hit, hit the high score where you're just popping it. Boom, 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 boom. Don't do that. Lay back. Be cool. Tell them that you're a new driver. Ask them, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? And usually they will be helpful. Now, you might get to run into a couple of surly drivers that have been driving uh, for a long time, and they might be like, oh, man, just, uh, just you find it out yourself. Don't worry about it. You'll find it out yourself. And you're like, well, uh, that's why I'm asking you, because I couldn't find it out by myself. But don't worry. You're positive. You're always positive no matter what happens. Okay? And just ask them a couple questions. They will be very helpful. Ask them about their experience. What do they like? What do they don't like? What uh, what has been the worst thing that has happened? Again, just a couple. Take a few and just ask them on a ride that you would have taken anyway to the mall or to wherever you're going. So, guys, that is a very simple but a very helpful tip, I believe, for newer drivers. It's going to make you a better driver and therefore hopefully make more moolah, making, making the money. Making it rain. Bring it down. Bring it down. Lord, Lord, rain that money down on me. Lord, Lord, rain those tips on me. Rain the tips on my head, Lord. Let the let the money fall onto my head. On the, uh, I'm going to get an umbrella, Lord, and hold it with so much money raining down on me from the rideshare clouds. Let the rideshare clouds gather into a storm of blackened clouds. The sky is going to turn and the rain coins and quarters and pennies and nickels and dimes and two dollar bills and two hundred dollar bills, maybe even a five thousand dollar bill, which they don't make anymore, Lord, but don't matter. Let it rain down on me anyway. That's what's going to happen. I hope.